So I wanted to make just a quick video on some of the physics equipment that we use. I've gotten some questions um, why you, people have been doing the coefficient of friction lab, uh, asking things like, you know, what is a motion sensor? What's a force sensor and stuff like that? And again, uh, it's okay. Obviously, some of that I feel like, you know, a force sensor is something that measures mass or mass. There you go. Good for me. Measures force. Okay. Um, but how does it do it? So I want to try to show you basically the equipment that we use in a, in a very quick video here. So first off, when we do physics labs in a classroom, unfortunately, again, a little bit tougher at home, we basically measure the same five to six quantities, okay? We measure time, distance, force, velocity, um, uh, mass, and then we'll, we'll, we'll learn eventually, you know, we, we measure rotational components like rotational velocity and rotational displacement. We also will get into measuring electricity with amp meters and volt meters. But again, that stuff's fairly understood that it's, it's a device that we can connect to measure those particular quantities in electricity. Okay. But let's focus now right now on the kinematics part, this mechanical physics part, which covers basically every unit up to the last two units on waves and uh, electricity, it even includes waves. So what do I got here? Okay. Uh, I mean, first off time, I mean, you got, you got your stopwatch, right? Okay. So, I mean, nothing too special there. That one's pretty easy. Uh, a balance measures mass. Everybody knows what a balance basically looks like. So what about this thing that I got right here? This, this is a spring balance, okay? It measures force. A force sensor is basically a mechanical spring balance, all right? There's a hook at the bottom of, this, of the force sensor and you basically connect it. So I'm gonna have my little cart here and you can connect it and basically start pulling it across a surface or lifting it off of a surface and so forth. So a force sensor always has some sort of hook that you pull. So therefore, it's always something that is an, an applied force or a tension force that you're measuring, okay, with this. Then using that information, you can ha hopefully solve for other forces as well. So that's basically a, a spring balance or a force sensor. They do the exact same thing, have the hook on the end that you, that you have and you pull, okay? You don't usually push too much. We can set up force sensors that have something that we can have it hit it. And then obviously that measures a, you know, an applied pushing force, but it's the same idea, pulling, pushing essentially, okay? Um, you guys have, I mean, you can always say we have ramps, okay? Ta -da. All right, this is amazing, right? All right, you can put the cart on the ramp and let it slide on down, everything like that. So, I mean, there's ramps that are available um, to say I can use a ramp in a normal AP classroom, okay? For the motion sensor, okay? For a motion sensor, I have this picture right here. Hopefully you can see it of the, uh, this is the ex exact same ones we have at West, they're PASCO motion sensors. So basically the idea is with this motion sensor, I put my card in front of it and basically zoom it away or zoom it toward it. And what it will do is measure distance, velocity. It, it does also measure acceleration, but be careful with that. We usually don't talk, we usually analyze for acceleration but we can create distance time and velocity time graphs with the motion sensor. And that's the other big thing with sensors is they are almost always connected to some computer device. Currently what we use more than anything else, this is why I'm pulling out my phone, is we use an app called SparkView, okay? And so basically what we have here is I can connect my phone to the force sensor, to a motion sensor, and it will collect that data, which then I can create a graph with. So in a procedure, you would say, the motion sensor will help me measure distance, the motion sensor will help me measure velocity, and that's it. And then you would, in your ana analysis, explain how, based on this data, I can create a velocity time graph and prove that it's accelerating, it's moving at constant speed, et cetera, okay? Uh, we actually have ones, most schools have them now, where the motion sensor's inside a cart itself, and so therefore, when the cart moves, it measures the distance, the displacement, and everything like that, including on the wheels, rotational velocity, and things like that, okay? So that is essentially what we measure all of the time. Uh, I know it was confusing. It says that there's a spark unit involved. Uh, you know, that's just basically a tablet device. I think I mentioned that in a message. It's a ta or in the instructions. It's a tablet device, just like a phone, that will collect the data that you then can analyze 
that data by creating graphs, by plugging it into equations, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope that helps out, okay? So that's basically it. Thanks, guys.